On this episode of the Whiskey Tornado, I review my surprise bourbon of the year. Founded in 2018 by the creators of the popular podcast, Bourbon Pursuit, Pursuit Spirit's latest release is their double oaked bourbon. The double oak finishing process starts with Pursuit United's signature bourbon blend, which undergoes a lengthy secondary finish using custom 36 month seasoned French oak medium toast staves. Pursuit United double oaked bourbon comes in at 108 proof, and as of now can be bought at their distillery for around $70. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host, Lance. Let's get in to this release. I gotta tell you guys, number one, I'm usually um, not a fan of younger whiskeys. And number two, I'm not the biggest fan of double oaked bourbons. So when I had this at the distillery, it absolutely blew me away. I was really surprised at how good it was, um, but we're going to nose it, taste it. I'm going to tell you whether I think it's a buy if you're a beginner, intermediate, or bourbon aficionado. Then at the end, I'll also let you know if this is worth bunkering some bottles. All right, first, let's get into the nose, everybody. Oh my gosh. The nose is um, very Makers-esque. Uh, you know, they also do a lot of that stave finishing and it is that, but the nose is almost like what makers wishes it could be. And I know that is a bold statement because makers does a lot of good things. Um, but man, this, this on the nose is just they said butterscotch in their tasting notes. And when I listened to Ryan and Kenny describe creating this blend, they talked about wanting to make it just very, very caramel forward. Well, to me, the major note in this is butterscotch, especially on the nose. It just explodes those Werther's original butterscotch candies, those hard candies. Um, it is a little bit, it is a little bit grainy and youthful on the nose, but those French oak staves did wonders to this. I would say there's a lot of honey, caramel, but the overwhelming note on this is that like, uh, where, where there's original butterscotch hard candies. Just absolutely beautiful. Let's go into the palette. Cheers, everybody. Oh man, this thing is a winner. This is probably, I mean, I don't want to ruin the whole review right away for you guys, but this is probably going to go into our bourbon of the year running. For those that are new to the channel, when we do our bourbon of the year, typically in the past, the criteria had to be, I had to have found the bottle on the shelf and bought it near MSRP. Um, this year, we're going to do a couple allocated versus a couple shelfers uh, versus a couple single barrel picks, which I've never done before. So this year's live stream where I send samples to five of our Patreon members and we taste and rank them blind to get our bourbon of the year should be very interesting. But right now, this is the leader for Shelfer because I did get this at the distillery at $470 and it is an absolute steal at that price. Man, it smells so good. All right, second sip here. Yeah, just overwhelming butterscotch there's this awesome like the only way i can describe it is if you toast if you toast bread and then you put butter on it and then it has that like that melted butter and toast that's kind of what this is buttered toast um just absolutely beautiful all right let's go in for the third sip just so well balanced at 108 proof it's crushable it comes in with a lot of creaminess and a perfect amount of spice. Again, that butterscotch, buttered toast, caramel. There's no fruits on this, no really baking spices, maybe even a little tobacco on the end there. Just gorgeous for $70. Man, what a what a killer blend by some guys that started a podcast. Um, like I said, we were there. I did get to meet um, Kenny, but I did not meet Ryan. Um, great guy, really nice. Their place is cool. You should really stop by if you have a chance. Uh, it's just a warehouse, but they have a great tasting experience where you can taste each of the components of their blend and then the blend as an, on its own. We tasted their toasted, which I thought was great. 
but this double oaked is in another world. Again, I know this is a bold statement, but they out makers marked makers mark. <laughs> this is a uh, blend of bourbons from Kentucky, Tennessee, and New York. Um, now, when you think Tennessee, yeah, you know, a lot of people might be put off and wonder if this has Dickel in it. My understanding is it does not have Dickel in it. Uh, it's a different Tennessee um, distillery, but uh, there is no minerality in there. I cannot taste any Dickel, so I do not believe there's any uh, George Dickel Tennessee whiskey blended into this. Um, but this blend is absolutely beautiful for $70. It is definitely going to go in my whiskey of the year running for 2024. And is my surprise whiskey of the year. So with that being said, is it a buy for beginners, intermediates, and bourbon aficionados? I would say yes, it's a buy for all those categories. For your bourbon beginner at 108 proof, this is gonna start tempting you to go a little bit higher in proof and explore some things. For your intermediary, if you've been at that 90 to 100 proof bourbon, now you're going up to 108, but then now you're opening your mind into some finishing bourbons. And this being finished with oak staves, this might even get you into some Maker's Mark products. But again, I think this is better than a lot of Maker's Mark releases that I've had. And if you're an aficionado like myself, there is a ton of flavor in this. And at 108 proof, it is really crushable. It is a nice, easy sipper, but there is a ton of creamy texture and complexity and spice to this that I think anybody would enjoy. Lastly, is this a bottle to bunker? I think it actually is. I had batch one at the distillery and uh, I liked batch one better than batch two. I'm tasting batch two today. Batch two is, I mean, we're splitting hairs. It is phenomenal as well. Both batches are fantastic. Um, if I found either of these, I would want some extras for my bunker. It's that good. If you love caramel and butterscotch, you cannot pass on Pursuit United's Double Oaked Bourbon. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our review today. If you are interested in barrel picks that I do, there is a link in the description below, or you can go to barrelsforhope.com. I do all my barrel picks through our charity organization. We are an established 501c3 that donated $40,000 to charity last year. Um, all proceeds of our barrel picks go to charity. If you'd like to just support the channel, you can do so by joining us on Patreon for as little as $2 a month. The link to our Patreon is also in the description below. Huge shout out to all our Patreon members. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. It really helps uh, with you know buying bourbon and camera equipment and lighting equipment and all those fun things. We love you guys very much, and we will see you on the next review. Cheers, everybody. Mm, man, that's good. Great job, Ryan. Great job. Isn't it in a shop? Isn't it in a shop? Isn't it in a shop?